this video we're going to derive the divisibility rule for 8 and what you need to note is that 8 divides a thousand a thousand is 8 times 125 call that note 1 and Note 2 is the following. Any integer k can be written as a multiple of a thousand plus a multiple of a hundred plus a multiple of ten plus a multiple of 1. Oh, by the way, this also implies that 8 divides a multiple of 1,000. And I should say the following, where a is an integer, and b, c, and d are digits. Excuse me. So, for example, if you have this number, that would be A, B, C, and D. It equals to, oops, not 125, but rather 123 times a thousand, which is one, two, three, triple zero, plus four times a hundred, which is four hundred, plus five times ten, which is fifty, plus 6 times 1, which is 1. And when you add them, look at that. 6 times 1 is 6. You get the number we started with. And B, C, and D are digits. And A is some integer. Okay. So K is written like this. Okay. So now 8 divides k if and only if 8 divides k. And this is how you can write k. Oops. A thousand times a plus a hundred times b plus 10c plus d. I just wrote down what k is. But we know that 8 divides that. So 8's going to divide the whole number if 8 divides the rest. If and only if 8 divides 100b plus 10c plus d. But this is the last three digits of a number. You have the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. So for example, if you want to know if this number, if this very long number is divisible by 8, is this extremely long number divisible by 8? All you need to verify is whether or not 8 goes into the last three digits. And of course it does. 8 goes into 8, and 8 goes into 64. 8 goes into 8 one time, you subtract, you get 0, bring down the 6. 8 goes into 6 zero times. But then you bring down the 4, and yeah, 8 goes into 64. So 8 will go into this number. Sorry, the whole number. Why? Because that whole number is 723. 
four five six seven two nine one eight four times a thousand plus eight hundred sixty four. Well, does eight go into this sum? Well, if eight goes into the first number, that first number, it goes into it this very long number times 125 times. So eight has to go into that number. So the divisibility rule for eight is just to verify whether or not eight goes into the last three digits. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends and family about it, your schoolmates, school teachers, soccer mates, everyone, and most of all, watch and learn.